Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds from 3DGameMan.com, and remember, if you have a question for me, head on over to 3DGameMan.com and post it in the forum. This next question is, what is the best overall gaming monitor? That question, my friend, is impossible for me to answer. Why? Well, there are so many displays on the market from so many manufacturers, and it all hinges on your particular budget and specifications. Thus, impossible for me to tell you, sir, go ahead and get this particular monitor. Because in this particular category, there are so many of them. But let me help you pick one out. First of all, budget. I suspect most people are willing to spend between 200 to maybe $400 on a display generally speaking. Size-wise, you want to go with probably 24 inches and larger. Resolution, you do not want to obviously go below 1080p, which is the resolution of 1920 by 1080. I prefer to go higher than that. If you can display that's 1920 by 1200, more real estate. If you want to go even higher than that, you know, something like 2850 by 1600, or you can have multiple displays as well. That's another option there as well. Viewing angles on these TN panels are the same pretty much. 107 degrees vertical, 160 horizontal. That's pretty much typical. Don't worry about dot size or pixel size. Don't worry about that too much. I mean, you're in this kind of like affordable category here. Um, you know, you're looking at 0.2 5, 0 0.26, 0 0.27, 0 0.28. Don't worry about it. Don't freak out about that stuff. Brightness and contrast, something else that I wouldn't worry about. You know what? Every single display that I've ever gotten, from cheapest ones to the most expensive ones, I've always had to reduce the brightness. You know, when you're gaming, you're not in the backyard with the sun blistering down. I pray you're not. And if you are, I guess it's okay. But in most cases, you're in a dark room, you know, getting into this... Most people have no lights on. I have some, some lights on, not very many, just one. And, you know, if it's bright, it's just burning your eyes out. It doesn't work. Um, you know, and usually you have to adjust the gamma in the games anyway. So, you you know, don't, don't worry too much about that. But something that is very important is response time. You want to have a display that's two milliseconds, a gray to gray. Really, you want that. You can go three or four, but I would go two milliseconds or less. So that will give you some idea of what to look for online. And when you're looking for a display online or in you know your favorite local store or whatever, keep those things in mind. Now, the other thing is, do you want to go 3D? That introduces a whole whack of more uh, displays. So you get the idea, you, you know, but narrow it down. What screen size do you want? What resolution do you want? What kind of budget are you wanting, you know, to, well, what kind of money are you willing to spend on this response time? And that should whittle your choices down to a few at least. And remember to read the reviews as well on the uh, online retail uh, uh, stores. They're, they're excellent because they'll give you a better idea of what other people uh, think about the particular uh, monitor. I hope this answers your question. And remember, keep your questions coming. If you have a question for me, head on over to 3dgameman.com and post it in the forum.